Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. This one I'll be reviewing another program called uh, Notepad. It's another, basically, Notepad, uh, not copy, but a uh, another Notepad program. And uh, we're going to see how this thing goes. Secure download my butt. Next. Click decline. Can I see right here, depth, crazy reviews for freebates, find free coupons. Right there, guys, that's how they're going to get you. Click decline. Click custom. Advanced user setup. That's a lie. They just don't want you to freaking use, get their malware. Don't use white smoke. White smoke and search protector like conduit. Conduit's not a virus. White smoke is found to be a virus. It is a pain in the butt to remove it, and it's not trusted. White smoke for their uh, grammar tool, very nice, very trusted. Their automatic toolbar has a lot of privacy issues that they need to work out. Click next, and here we go. And we're going to check this one out. I agree. Eh, fine. I'll just uninstall it later. Let's see what this little thing does. I hope it's not just strictly another notepad. All right. This looks like to be another programming tool. Favorites. Okay. It looks like it's British because in America we don't spell it like that. And I think Britain actually has a different form of spelling for favorites. Not an insult by any means. It's just truly... In some words, they change it like gray here. Is that like G-R-E-Y? And in Britain, it's like gray as in G-R-A-Y. Um, let's see if I can create a simple HTML file real quick. So I'm going to pause the video here. And I'm going to create a quick little video, a quick little HTML file. All right, everyone, I'm back with that. I did make a cool uh, uh, basic HTML template. It took me about maybe like two minutes at tops. Um, I did have issues with the program in the time. For instance, when I start typing words, it had an issue where the words would start flashing and starting like to fade every time I typed a new letter in. Kind of annoying. Um, I really wish that's some, that's something they gotta work with, because they're not gonna compete with Microsoft like Visual Studio. If they, it'll never actually compete with that, I mean, there's no chance. But um. I'm going to open it up and uh, show you guys if I can get the thing to duplicate itself or maybe not. Seriously, guys? You don't even show up on the list to open the file. Okay. Uh, can I edit it? Wow, this is very sad. Okay, well, I'm going to give you all some words of advice. If you do expect your program to succeed and you want to get more people to donate and use it, you need to give more features than that of other programs such as Notepad++, and you're going to have to give more than just that of the regular Notepad. From what I looked into it, it's just a very, 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 very basic program. There's not a whole lot of extra features that you're going to get out of it. For one, it needs to be Windows more Windows 8 compatible. I don't even know if it's set for that yet. It needs to allow me to right-click and open the file. It also needs a built-in editor, like if it sees a common code mistake, it needs to do that. Like if there's no ending point, it should give you a little message that says you got to end the code. Uh, do, do this for everything that starts with HTML, that'd be a very good start. And it could, and other than that, that should be a good little uh, uh, program that you have there for a simple text editor. But um, if you're looking for a notepad review, basically... If you're looking for another notepad, uh, don't use the TED notepad. Uh, I highly recommend that you actually just go off and use another program such as Notepad++. Or just use the Microsoft Visual Express Studio Express version because that's free, has a lot more tools, and it gets it's just updated more. But other than that, thank you for watching this quick little review. Um, if you ever use this, or even if you if you happen to work for this notepad, which this program, which I highly doubt anyone will, uh, think about releasing the source code and allowing people to create add-ons and then host the add-ons or send it to CNET and have a reroute to your site. 
so that way all the add-ons can be collected to allow people to get more features like they do out of other programs. But that's about all I have to say, so thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned for another video, and then we're going to see what my next review is, which is a popular little automation tool called Ghost Mouse. Let's see how that one goes. Goodbye.